Hello there, welcome to the Air Gun Gear Show. A simple gun requires a simple video. That's what you're going to get this time. Now, I was in one of my favourite stores the other day, which is Bass Pro, and I was wandering up and down the aisles looking at all the air guns and all the other sorts of guns and hunting kit that you can buy. And I was in a bit of a dreamland, and a chap came up to me and said, What do you think is the best air gun that I can use to shoot in the backyard uh, with my nephew? And I said, well, how old's your nephew? And he said, well, he's nine. Never shot before, but I'd really like to get him into shooting. What do you think I should use? And we talked about the size of backyards and different angles and powers and all that sort of thing as you do. And we decided that what you needed was something that wasn't too powerful, isn't going to blow holes in the fence. You don't want to do that. It's not going to make such a crack that your neighbour is going to get annoyed with you when he sat out enjoying the evening sun having a beer, chatting with his family, and all he wants to hear is some idiot next door going bang, bang, bang all evening long. So you don't want to do that. You want something that's simple to use, child friendly, it's not going to blow holes in the fence, and it's not going to annoy your neighbours, but it's going to teach you gun safety, gun control, and a little bit of accuracy. And it hasn't got to cost too much money. It's just a small amount of requests that need to be filled there. But actually, I found something that covers the lot of them. And it's this. It's the Daisy Red Rider. Now, apparently, these are a bit of an American tradition and have been going for years. Now, I'm not American. I'll hold my hand up to that. Um, so I have to take people's words for that. But it is an awesomely good little gun and you're going to say to me that's a, that's a toy looks like a toy gun you're wrong you're very wrong this is not a toy gun what is toy is the price now wait for it this is 40 dollars 39.99 actually plus tax 40 dollars okay so an equivalent british pounds 30 pounds and it's a multi-shot oh yes it'll hold hundreds of bbs you slide this open here and pour all the BBs in you want down there, hundreds and hundreds of them. And then every time you cock it, like that, you see, it's gonna put a BB in the chamber and you're gonna shoot it. And it's not that loud, but it's gonna chuck those BBs out at 350 feet per second. And I tell you, out to sort of 15 yards, that's pretty devastating to whatever's in its way but it's not going to blow holes in your fence and it's not going to annoy your neighbour. And you look at it and you think, it still looks like a toy. Actually, that's what I thought when I bought it the box, because the box doesn't kind of do it justice. In fact, it's quite tatty. Bass Pro, you need to look after your stock a little bit better. But when you take it out of the box, it's got a solid wood forehand. It's got a solid wood stock. It's held together with dirty great screws all over the place. And the build quality is beautiful. It's shiny, it's clean, there's no sharp edges. And when you shoulder it, it feels like a little rifle, which is the main thing. It's got a plastic loading mechanism there, but the plastic is sort of really, really tough plastic. I mean, there's no way you're gonna break that. You've got a safety just here, like that, and you've got your plastic trigger. And it's surprisingly good. I've already been out in the garden and shot it, and I wouldn't be doing the video if I wasn't impressed with it. Ah, yes, you want to see me shoot it. Well, let's take it outside and let me show you what it can do. I'm going to be shooting at some self adhesive targets which are on a cardboard box. The self adhesive targets were chosen by my little girl while we were in the Bass Pro shop. And the cardboard box comes from the very expensive set of boots that my wife bought while we were there as well. Now I've got to put the BBs into the gun. And remember, I am doing this on camera. Missing with a few. It's not going to happen. I've paced out 10 yards 
and now I'm ready to shoot. I'm just gonna break in and tell you something I did find really irritating when shooting the gun. And that's this bit of leather here. Now, I don't know what its name is in the States. I don't know what it's for or whether it's just to be all pretty. But when you cock the gun, it gets in the way every single time and it has to go. Go take a look. I've got three almost touching each other. Yeah. A nice finger sized group. Let's shoot the other target. It's a lovely group. I don't actually know how many I fired there because to be honest I was just enjoying myself so I just carried on shooting. The basis of this gun is fun. It's not really for shooting groups, it's for shooting at tin cans and bottles. You can even get the young ones knocking them down too. Yay! The Daisy Red Rider weighs 2.2 pounds. It's just over 35 inches in length and it holds a massive 650 BBs in its reservoir and it's $40. That's less than the price of a tank of gas. Incredible. <laughs>